All right, hello. Um, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tackle the polarization concept builder on the physics classroom website. So I'll do one example uh, from separation of charge, one example from particle flow, and one example from the induction section. So let's start with uh, separation of charge. Okay. So a negatively charged balloon is brought near to a neutral metal pop can. So when it's held near, what does the charge distribution on the can look like? And so we can tap on the object to toggle through the charge distributions. So if we're going to have a negatively charged balloon, that means that all of the negatives in this can are going to want to travel as far away from that negative charge as possible. So we should expect a negative charge um, distribution over here. And we should expect, so I want to emphasize that the positive charges, the protons, the protons are not the particles that are flowing. The protons on that side are going to remain. But since all of the electrons traveled over to the right hand side over here, you're going to have more protons here than electrons. And so we should find one where that matches it. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, good to go, okay? Um, so this is called polarization, okay? And so if over here we're going to say that the metal can is polarized, um, is it positively charged? No. Is it negatively charged? No. It's actually still electrically neutral, and that's actually why I went and I counted the charges to make sure that um, you know they were still equal to each other. And as long as they're still equal to each other, it's still electrically neutral. So let's go ahead and we'll check our answer. And there you go. It's out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> so that one's completed. Let's go ahead and let's return and let's do the particle flow. Okay, so let's read the instructions. A negatively charged balloon is brought near a set of three blocks. Some blocks are conductors, others are insulators. Describe how the blocks become polarized and show what particle movement is involved to cause this polarization. Do keep in mind right here that the white bars are the conductors and the gray bars are the insulators. So, I mean, if you want, think of any tool, honestly, where you have like a rubber handle right here and maybe you have like a metal, I don't know, hammer or whatever, whatever, screwdriver. We're talking about tools here. Okay, so if you bring a negatively charged balloon close to your object, right? Electrons are only going to flow really through the conductor. They're not going to flow through the insulator. And so let's just, let's toggle through some things. Let's see if they work. Okay, what's wrong with this one? So protons don't flow, right? The only thing that's going to be flowing is the electrons. And so if you, toggle through these, you're going to notice that there's going to be these green arrows where it shows protons are flowing. If it ever says protons are flowing, that's not correct. All right, this one has electrons are flowing, but again, it has a green arrow and it says protons are moving. Not correct. All right, this one says that electrons are moving. Okay, and let's see if it matches what we're looking for. So in this case, we bring the negative charge up, the electrons are flowing away. Negative would repel negative, right? The electrons would be trying to escape this negative balloon. And so this is helpful because now we know when we go to the charge distribution, we should look for a scenario where all of the electrons went ahead and traveled to one side. So let's see if this works. So we have three electrons over here. We have three protons here. It's still electrically neutral, right? But now it's been polarized. The tip of this has now become positively charged. So let's go ahead and we'll check our answer. And that way. Cool. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and let's do the last one. Induction. Okay. All right. Notice that there's a little flash that's going on up here. So a positively charged balloon is brought near to a neutral conducting bar. When it's held near, the opposite side of the conducting bar is touched. Touching the bar causes it to become what? Okay. So if you bring a positive charge close to this bar, what's going to happen? All of the electrons are going to flow over to that side, right? And so what you're going to have over here is a lack of electrons on the left-hand side. When you go ahead and you touch it, right, your hand has protons and electrons in it as well. All of the electrons in your hand are going to want to go into this uh, bar. And so what's going to happen is that electrons are going to flow. So let's go ahead and let's click on that one. Electrons are going to flow into the bar. And if electrons are going to flow into the bar, then what's going to happen? It's going to become negative. Let's go ahead and check our answer and data away. Okay? All right. Hopefully this is straightforward. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. Again, as always, you can show up to my office hours and I'd be more than happy to go over this uh, simulation with you. So anyways, take care.